Hello everybody, Wiggly here and welcome to Fun Follows in No Man's Sky. How are you today? Hope you're fantastic. This is a game that I think has been severely um, picked on when it was first released. I've been playing it for, I don't know, quite a few hours now over the past couple of days. And yeah, you go, you literally go to these staffs and um, oh, he disappeared. Yeah, you start off and got to literally repair your ship, which is that one over there, the default starting ship. And then, you know, you have this journey around the solar system and you literally go to do what you want. It's like one massive sandbox. You just go anywhere you want. You can be a pirate if you wanted to. And it's just, you know, wherever you, you, you do what you want. I'm just on the normal difficulty right now. I'm just at my little base. I found a little a little homestead on this planet. This planet has got freezing cold winds, uh, rain though. It's a bit, a bit annoying, but doesn't really matter too much. But it's got, uh, as you can see over here, it's got a very, very nice supply of emeralds. Which I've been finding for like, the past side though, hours. So there's just tons of different deposits of emerald everywhere. I mean, it is a, it, there's a quite a bit of a graph in this game. I have to, I have to say. But at the same time though, you don't want to see me mine all this do you, so I'll do that, I'll do that and another time, but this is this is our ship. So we can of course explore the whole galaxy with this little bad boy. But at the same time though, we do we have like um Things with, within it. Looks like I landed on, on, on the sun, didn't it? But it's actually a freezing cold, cold planet. But you have the ability to get better ships, upgrade ships. You can do almost, you can do a lot of things in this game, really. That's my hyperdrive, it's completely dead, though. It's really, really hard to try and find any man. But as you see, I, I have found some. You, can, you, you then craft that into, into of course, you know, you know the warp drive. I just, I just need some um, some some thanium nine for that, but that'll be later on. But yeah, you need to keep a health a health a healthy stock pile of iron to charge your ship, really. Especially when you go into battles. Right, so if you go into battles, yeah, you can literally take a beating without uh, any iron anyway for your for your you know your cannons and everything like that. But let's get more into the world, shall we? This is us. This is where we are right here, and this. Is the world as you can see? It's fucking massive. You can hyperdrive to this one here. Apparently, that is where we need to go. That's the Atlas interface. We haven't discovered it yet. There's a black hole over there as well, as you can clearly see on, on the left hand side where my little yellow arrow is pointing. We can just go into free mode. Yeah, the path towards a black hole. So we can enter that, but only when we get. Bit more of a better ship, but let's go in and in and in, in, in a free mode. Now we should have, have, have a little look at just how how massive this universe truly is. Look at the size of it, it is humongous. That's why you need a war drive to get around the place, otherwise, <laughs> you just get lost in this damn game. You really, really do get lost. But yeah, just look at the size of it. Every one of these stars is a planet that you can go to. This game is fucking massive, it really is huge. I brought this game just the other day, and then all of a sudden, Steam store came out with a 40% discount for it and I was like you bastards always the fucking same in it really big planets over here in this little cluster because the hub just has no fuel though so I can't really, can't really get anywhere right now but if you want to go somewhere let's just say that there we are let's just go o over to our our station over here you can of course just get there with your regular thrusters as you can see it takes about an hour though we have, we have, we have, we have, we have a turbo. Just turn down the game settings. I turn this down. I never turn this down a more than this, but apparently not. Apparently it's still freaking loud as hell. But you do have your thruster, which is on your shift key, your keyboard, and that can let us go places a little bit more faster. Or you can activate your warp drive, and this is what you really, really want to, or your pulse drive. And this is this is what you need to really really get around the place. It does take a long time to go across the new universe, so make sure, as I said, to stockpile a lot of iron 
actual fuel in this world. You need iron for almost any, everything to craft and to get around the place. Space Station Zoo, I've been looking forward to buying a new a new vehicle for quite some time. You can find the stress beacons on planets and that can also lead to finding a destroyed ship. And they're destroyed ships if you you rebuild them, then they're, then they're yours. So this one's just, it literally, it's just the default. It's just literally the, the, the default. And it's not the best in the world. Obviously, it's just, you know, it's just, it's just how it is. But you can scan planets. Got planet, planet base detected in there. Aluminium, copper, her, her, iridium, work and stuff. It's even got its own little moon over there. You can have a scan. You can do much you can do on this game. It, it, it is it is quite a vast game. But you know, yeah, this is this is the, the basic ship. It only has 15 slots. It's not the best, especially when you tr when you want to install stuff and take 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 up slots and you like you want to get as much money as you can back and then sell at the at the global market. Oh yeah, we all play these games differently. You could be a pirate. I don't think you'd be very welcome to the space stations though, but I haven't really, haven't really come across that. If we if we wait here though, other ships will come in, and we can offer to buy the and you know, the alien ships. I assume we're human. I really haven't got much of a clue. So you didn't really get you, you have your love your love, your love support system and everything like that. Oh, the, the global market's just up here though. It's not the the best global market in the world. It's kind of like hit and miss depending on what starship you, you go to. Oh, here's someone. Yeah, here we are. Yeah, mo I've only got a class C ship, so it's only just the, the bare basics. Some of the things that aliens get there. Fucking massive ship, they're absolutely huge. Let's look at this one though, though, shall we? Have a look at this one. Hello, AI person. They're gonna offer on the low from ship we someone to. 275,000, it's got 19 slots, so it's much better than mine. That's exactly the same as mine, C class. I could buy it for so one or two, but I just have no iron to power it. Unfortunately, when you buy as you, as you saw, it comes fully depleted, which is really, really annoying. I mean, it's like it's like completely all depleted. So it's really, really annoying. Let's go up to the global market, shall we? So if you if you are new to this game, what I would what I would suggest you do is get your planet, get, get your ship, get off planet as fast as you can, scan around, scan around the, the sectors, find some of a nice planet that's got some gold in it or some emerald or something like that, something like really, really rich. Just go go over here, sell your worth, all this. I've only got 34 bits of it, but normally I've come with like stacks of thousands on my planet. And yeah, you literally just go, just get loads of it, as you see there. Get absolutely loads. And then just get get some money. I've only got a million, it's not much in the, in the, in the realm of this game. Not when, not when stuff costs an absolute freaking fortune. Like, we can talk to any, 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 any life form though. You got sign us here, talk to all the random people. Of course, you don't know their language too well, though. But you can reach your language you gain from it. You see, you get out of here fragments, everything like that. You, you give that to them, they increase your uh, your allegiance to that faction, and of course, they give you um, language nodes. Oh, that's what I call a ship right there. Look at that. Five engines. Head to my three? You can't. Crazy. Well, yeah, let's have a look at it. Sorry, for, for a laugh. The class beats up 25 slots. Wow. Uh, I did get attacked. I've still got, got a phase beam on it as well, which is really, really good for mining asteroids. So, yeah. Two and a half million, though. But, yeah. So, if, you, if you're that kind of person that loves space games, I recommend giving this game a game. Don't look at Steam comments for it, though. It's mostly negative, but I don't care about that one fucking bit. I think this game's fantastic. I really, really do. Oh, we're stressing. Where, where was that? 
Oh, she just tricked me. Where is it? Over there. Oh, love you. Oh, okay, we're in a fight. Oh, is it? We can do this. So, our ship isn't the best for fighting, but hell, it's not too bad, though. It can do something. Yeah, fighting this game, if you played it any other kind of, um, you know, any other, like, you space game, you have a little retina, you, you, you need to fire a heady target, obviously, to hit him. Don't fire against the friendlies, otherwise they will turn on you. I mean, even if it's a friendly fire, they'll still blast you, with the rings. He's getting an idea, oh my god. I'm gonna try and boost you know, towards an asteroid, it's not really the best. I mean, the game kind of limits you on safety, really. I think if we can try and save these people, it'd be fantastic. We're coming, buddy! We're coming! Let's get faster, come on! Maybe slow us down to these damn astro fields. I only have the basic, the basic default, you know, proton cannons. They're getting smashed, books, but my good and gravy. Let's draw on the fight! Best we can. I assume they're evil because they're red. And, you know. We do have buggies on this game though. A lot of people are mate, but yeah, what kind of cargo are you carrying? I have no idea. There we are. Let's do this, let's engage. Bring on the new. There's, there's a retina. There we are. Take down. Oh, you bastard. How's that? Ah. This is not a laser or something. What is it? Oh, I'm getting annoyed on my shield, though. Yeah, this isn't really the best. To say the default ship is not the best for fighting. Who knows? I might even die right now. I'm not too sure. Ow, 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 annoying, annoying. Charge up a zinc, shall we? They say it's worth 8 tons of supplies on you. Where the hell are they? I can't even find them, but it's too far away. Ah, the default ship sucks! Means it bad. Shoot them asteroids, I didn't even know you didn't even know you could do that. Oh whoops. You little blast that fucking cane. Holy shit that annoyed my shoes. I'm getting absolutely owned right now. When you pulse out of it because they're just literally gonna kill everyone both of them. Oh my god, no, I can't even do anything. Handling which was terrible. Don't bring your dick! Come here, you. We're sitting fucking duck here, aren't we? Yeah, we got no thank fuck for that. Where are you then, huh? Yep, lovely. My gun's overheated as well. Fuck him. Here we go. Oh, he's gone for that. <laughs> I need to restart my shield so bad. That'll do for now. But right, we've got a lot of merry rear bogus for it, and I'm like almost out of shields as well. Heal down. I might want to boost away. If I die, it'll be mad as we. Down anyway. The glass was down there. Ah, the pain. Down there, honey. Where are you? I don't give a damn. We'll fight anyone. Woohoo! This is not a nice fight at all. I should have bought more supplies for this. I'm not gonna die. 
Oh, I'm gonna die, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Let's not protect fools. Well, death by laser. Are we? I don't know what we are. No, generation 1, I don't know. So, but yeah, this game is difficult. It's a little bit longer than I thought we'd try to fight it. It is hard when you got the default ship. It's not the best ship in the world to try and get my stuff done. But I would say if you're, if you're a new player to this game, get the ship, get off planet, find some gold or something like that, some emerald to mine, scan the planets, go there, mine the fucking shit out of it, and then buy yourself a better fucking ship or find one. You never know. You can try, you can try and find, but they're fucking difficult to find though. Thanks for watching everyone, I really hope you enjoyed, even though I got my ass absolutely kicked, but it doesn't matter though. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel if you already. Have an awesome Friday, great weekend, as always, I'll see you in the next video, so tell me friends, goodbye!